Some of the other stories uh, we're covering, and several thousand Israelis have demonstrated in the town of Bayat Shemesh against the behavior of ultra-Orthodox Jews who want to enforce segregation between men and women. Well, the town has been at the center of controversy in Israel since some ultra-Orthodox men harassed and spat at an eight-year-old girl who was on her way to a school, accusing her of failing to dress modestly. The Israeli president has said a minority in Israel is acting outrageously and violating national solidarity. John Donison reports. By early evening, thousands had gathered in Bed Shemesh, angry at the treatment of women by ultra-Orthodox Jews who want greater segregation between the sexes. In recent months, many Israelis have been shocked at images of grown men hurling abuse at schoolgirls, some as young as eight. Their crime, dressing immodestly. We'll just walk a little bit, okay? <laughs> Nam, do you want to walk just a little bit? No. Over the weekend, Israeli television showed pictures of Hadassah Marjolez struggling to get her daughter Nama to school. On Monday, police clashed with hundreds of ultra-Orthodox who'd been trying to force women and girls to walk on a different side of the street from men. Israel's political leaders, so often critical of religious extremism in Islamic countries, have ordered a crackdown on intolerance at home. All of us, religious, secular or traditional, should stand as one. We must protect the identity and the character of the state of Israel against a minority that interrupts the national security in such an outrageous way. Nobody has the right to threaten a young girl or a woman. They are not the masters of the land. We are all citizens of the state, and there is not one group that rules. Around one in ten Israelis are ultra-Orthodox Jews. But with big families, it's estimated that figure will increase to one in five in 20 years' time. One protester in Beit Shemesh told me this was a fight for Israel's soul. John Donison, BBC News, Beit Shemesh.